Hey Deckers, Liam here. Another exciting one for you today because recently Valve released Proton 8, which was a really big upgrade for the stable Proton series, but now they've also done the same with Proton Experimental. It's been given the upgrade treatment as well. Quick reminder, if you already have Proton Experimental installed, it will just show up in your downloads as an update waiting for you. If you don't have it installed, you can just go up to the search bar and search for it directly in your Steam library, where you can then select it to install. To use it, you just go into the Properties menu of a game, then into Compatibility, tick that box and select Proton Experimental, and then that game will be good to go. Now then, on to what's new and improved, because firstly, it brings over all of the changes from Proton 8.0-1, that I went over it in a previous video, there's a huge amount to it. But on top of that, these titles are now playable, including Prop Knight, Combat Mission Battle for Normandy, Blood Rain Terminal Cut 1 and 2, Breakout 13, Murazaki Surugi, Poo Shooter Toilet Invaders, that name cracks me up every time, Pergo Box, Olympia Rising, and Summoner's War Chronicles. Now there's various bug fixes, including fixes to various Wolong Fallen Dynasty issues around video playback. They have fixed the launcher in DC Universe Online, fixed the audio controls and spatialization in VR chat with AV Pro, fixed the key presses registering weirdly in Wild Hearts, fixed video playback in Neo Complete Edition, fixed Pentiment not being playable on desktop. They improved cutscene desync in Immortals Phoenix Rising, which was quite a big problem. Witcher 3 launcher rendering issues are fixed. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 graphical glitches when loading the hex tower were fixed. Video playback issues in Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain have been solved. Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut should no longer hang when you're trying to quit it. A connection error at the end of Chapter 2 in Life is Strange was solved. They fixed up more of the Epic Online services as there were error messages with Returnal and other games that were using Epic Online services. So once again, that should be solved. And they also fixed intermittent hangs with Prototype. A fun one here though is an update to the file distribution method to save some more disk space because every little helps, especially for those of you on 64 gig Steam Decks. That coupled with the upcoming change to shaders that will reduce their file size pretty dramatically in some cases is going to be awesome, which I also covered in a previous news video. Lastly, they also updated DXVK and VKD3D Proton. Those are the tools that actually do the direct 3D to Vulkan translation in Proton to the latest development work with all of their improvements as well. Overall, that sounds like a pretty nice experimental update, don't you think? Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to testing, or are you still waiting on something else being fixed? Is there something you think that I should be looking into? Do let me know what you think in the comments, I'm always keen to read your thoughts, and I'll see you later.